with technology, you can achieve almost total exclusion of noise, which we call silence. Truth is that there is no such thing as silence at all. Every move you make, there is no way that there can be any perfect silence. Any rotating and revolving object has to generate some sound because there's a frequency at which it revolves and rotates. With such huge masses, galaxies actually, in spiral orbits, how can there be silence? If the electrons in my body within atoms are combining with other atoms to form molecules, dissipating energy, or absorbing energy. It cannot be in inertia. It's a mythical concept. So is silence. Being still is possible. But being in silence Even the best Hollywood and Bollywood and Collywood studios strive spending millions of dollars, crores of rupees, to get what is considered silence. So if sound is the presence of vibrations and wavelengths and frequencies, silence has to be the negation of it. But considering that we are in an environment that's rotating and revolving, at phenomenal speeds. Human beings have only touched about five or six mark. Like speed of light, speed of sound is not a constant. It depends on the medium. So the medium, whether you call it ether or call it atmosphere, it's of little consequence. The message is the oxygen. Medium, who cares? living processes involve inhalation, stopping, exhalation, and stopping. Oxygen intake is more to do with uh, exhalation 
and emptying your body emptying your lungs how sophisticated your breathing training is if you're a musician you're playing flute or bagpipes or harmonica you can only make a sound when you exhale just as i am right now speaking it's impossible for me to be inhaling and speaking at the same time well almost impossible it is possible by tricking your brain into thinking that there's more oxygen left than there really is how huh? exhale softly and slowly two different attributes if you consider your body as an army or better still a combined defense services and you are the boss strategically you decide what exposure this body would have to circumstances to environment to things that are outside your control and then there's another side the other side is the involuntary side as i'm speaking to you to a large extent i'm conscious of forming the right words like clearing my voice but for this particular instant twirling my mustache has really nothing to do with my voice nothing to do with inhaling exhaling any of the real processes involved in me ingesting oxygen without which i'm finished okay am i telling my senses right now my brain several parts of it brains for instance the broca's brain is deep with language is that part of my brain instructing my nostrils to distinguish smell wise since the brain is not equipped with nostrils on itself the brain can at best guess if it's in a safe breathing environment or not what do i mean by safe breathing environment dust you pick it is despite my windows being closed my doors being closed air conditioning is switched off right now all considerations included dust is something i cannot prevent my breathing apparatus it's an apparatus a heart beats approximately 
68 to 76 beats a minute so anything over 80 not good anything below 60 you're in trouble and how is that monitor are you telling consciously every morning you wake up just like when you brush your teeth you tell your body to breathe as you're brushing your teeth you're not able to breathe you may not be aware of it. your mind may not be aware of it. but is your brain aware of it absolutely cuz the brain is a physiological organ just like the heart is So in collusion between the heart, the brain, the lungs, the liver, list of endless organs, or endless list of organs, same difference. These organs are working with each other without my permission. it's better that they don't listen to me at all as a person no here i have to make a distinction who am i independent of my organs in my body let's exclude all of this conversations between our body and the environment moot let's just look at processes within our body this only thing you can possibly have any control over right you cannot control somebody else's body i cannot control my favorite pet dog or my child or my grandmother or my father or my mother nobody no matter how much i love them if they choose to breathe in resonance with you then there is rapo rapo is a very important term a word now let's turn this around and make it into a verb in some ways i could call it uh, reverse nominalization nominalization happens when we see a finished process flower leaf seed in order to get to the seed stage it's already gone through levels of change some incremental and leading up to some you know quantum leaps mutational metamorphic where the original form does not correspond at all to the evolved form the grown form like a seed of let's say coconut it has nothing similar or recognizable other than another seed of its own kind hanging as fruit but the tree itself leaves flowing xylem roots nothing nothing looks like the seed itself just like the seed or not has no resemblance 
to the tree or the plant or the flower or any part of the plant look like any other parts except in its own reproduction cycle we see another seed a nut a bean whatever if i were to only be concerned with the finished form of what the seed takes i would lose sight of both the seed and the plant let alone the flower or the leaf or a root some philosophers say this body is the be all and end all and when i die nothing is left or whatever is left becomes part of whatever was there before i came here makes sense if we have nothing at all to do with our own body since it's totally out of our control other than what i can feed myself breathing imbibing ingesting yeah survival stuff when i'm invaded by cancer or a virus or a bacteria i have no idea what i am doing i am feverish can't control i have diarrhea can't control i am puking no control what happened to your brain then the brain was caught unaware how can it be your brain was unaware that something was attacking itself yes brain cancer if the brain was capable of protecting itself why would people die from brain cancer how come the brain doesn't know it has cancer which means it is not self conscious it's like any other organ within the human body we ascribe the word mind to it mostly because wrongly we identify being conscious as being mindful they are not the same if it was the case the brain the seat of the mind how come it didn't know that uh, cancer is invasion is taking place and it's not able to protect itself forget about any other part of the body how come the brain being so self aware and in control of all the other systems was unable to prevent itself from cancer simple the brain is not self aware 
which means what is or who is the one who is aware you are seems like a contradiction if your own brain as we have just seen is incapable of defending itself thereby rendering itself totally useless to protect any other part of the body is the brain self aware is the brain the mind is the heart the seed of feeling syndrome we've just associated a lot of human behavioral issues parameters characteristics attributes of the ego into discrete human organs which have really nothing to do with it yes your heart palpitates <laughs> yes when i'm in love i can feel it when i'm in fear i can feel it but that is just a residual function of the heart it pumps harder faster whatever just to give other parts of your body oxygen simple that's it and when the rest of the body is calm quiet soft slow the heart also slows down so the heart is also not self aware if neither the heart nor the brain nor the lungs nor the liver nor your genitals your reproductive organs not one of them is self aware why its survival hinges on connections associative behavioral responses <laughs>